My name is Tosav Vasilev and I'm the CEO of Civico. Civico is a Bulgarian engineering company that helps its customers improve their processes through industrial automation. We have always had a passion for creating products and systems that are easy to use, more productive and reliable. We achieve this by better integration between software and hardware, the introduction of modern technologies, and above all, putting the needs of our customers on the prime spot. Often the problems that we solve are complex and require a combination of knowledge from several different fields of expertise, the ability to innovate and to make the right decisions. In this interview, I'll be talking about Industry 4.0 and I hope that you'll find the information both useful and interesting. The first question in this interview is what Industry 4.0 solutions does your company incorporate? As a company, our focus is on the integration of uh, industrial robots and industrial control systems. We are a system integrator of the industrial robots by FANUC and we are certified integrator of the industrial software application platform Ignition by Inductive Automation. I will focus on the industrial control systems as they are both less understood and at the same time they are of a prime importance for the digitalization of any manufacturing facility. The industrial control system is a combination of software, hardware and communication infrastructure that allows real-time data acquisition from the manufacturing process. Based on this data, one can manage and optimize the manufacturing process. Ignition is a most, um, among the most powerful platform, platforms for building various industrial software applications such as uh, SCADA, MES, IIoT, reporting, alarming, and more. Next question is, what are the trends driving Industry 4.0? Well, arguably the most visible trend in manufacturing at the moment is the advance of automation and digitalization. We have observed and analyzed this process and we have found that there are three major forces driving the increased use of uh, smart automation in manufacturing. Those are first, the technological development and advancement created by the increase in computing power. Second, the application of those technologies and their business impact. And third, this is a more local uh, reason, is the current de demographic trend in Europe and in Bulgaria. I want to spend more time in explaining those forces because I think it's very, very important for you to understand them. First, let's uh, discuss the technological development, which is the most obvious force. You need uh, to understand that the major force today in, in terms of technological development and also not just today but in the last few decades has been the increasing computing power. Uh, we live since the end of the Second World War in the information age and since the creation of the first computer computing power has been growing steadily by an approximately 35% annually. This is very very impressive growth especially in comparison with the rate of improvements in more major technologies such as let's say airplanes or pumps which usually improve by one by, by to maximum three percent annually therefore it's not very surprising that um, the computing power has become the main driver to technological change and this is not valid only for the industry but for the economy at all as in general and, and the majority of the advances that we currently see in industrial automation are also based on improvements in computation and software. Uh, there are several technologies that uh, experts will believe will become more prominent in the next few decades. The first one is uh, advanced robotics. Well, the difference between advanced robotics and the currently existing industrial robots is that uh, 
and those robots they will be much more adaptable to the environment they'll be much easier to integrate and program and they'll be mobile so this is all based on the ability to sense what's happening around them and to make decisions based on this data another important technology that it will become more common is uh, the industrial internet of things in my opinion this is just another name for industrial control systems because they basically do the same they extract data from the production processes they manage it they optimize it they provide solutions another uh, te technology that will develop really fast in the next 10 years is machine vision machine vision is not a new technology uh, technology it has been around since the end of the 80s in the last century but currently it's really improving really fast because of the new advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning especially machine learning based on images has found uh, has been really really fast in the last few years and this uh, bucket of technologies we can also add advanced an analytics so uh, now companies have an access through the cloud to some of the most powerful computers worldwide that uh, enables them to do much more precise and complicated um, data models and so they can make simulations or forecasts so this is very important another thing that is just emerging is also augmented reality and virtual reality I think that those two technologies will be most useful in giving instructions and informations to the operators and this will help them improve their work another important technology that is also coming now of age is the blockchain so blockchain is uh, this decentralized ledger that uh, enables different actors to coordinate and validate their decisions and actions so i think this will be very useful in supply chains especially where you have supply chains spanning across multiple companies in different countries and there are many goods moving around however the biggest impact will not be achieved by a single technology but by a combination of those technologies so this concept is um, commonly labeled as the fourth industrial re revolution or industry 4.0 it is the ongoing automation of traditional manufacturing and industrial practices using modern technologies many experts believe that in the future we will sh we will shall see large scale machine to machine communication through industrial control systems uh, this will enable increased automation improved communication and self-monitoring of those machines in manufacturing there will be many smart machines that can analyze and diagnose issues without the need of human intervention uh, furthermore what the experts see is that there will be a fusion between the physical and the digital worlds it's, it means that uh, there will be digital twins of the physical world that will be will be much easier for us to experiment and uh, adjust the manufacturing processes in the digital world with before implementing them in the real world and this will unlock huge potential for more improvements and innovation so the, ex the expected productivity gains currently are in the range between 15 to 25 percent based on those technologies but uh, I think that this will this is not the final figure it will most likely improve in the next uh, years as uh, there are constantly new ways of doing stuff new technologies new ideas and I think this is just the beginning smart manufacturing and digitalization will help manufacturing companies improve their productivity and quality uh, decrease costs and increase flexibility 
and this will, uh, even more importantly it will just give them tools to improve faster the processes and to innovate with higher probability of success so the last question is what are the current challenges and expected solutions of industry 4.0 as i see it the challenges are mainly managerial and not technical of course the limitations of the technology and it will develop in the next years but what i think is the major obstacle right now is the the capacity of the companies to absorb those new technologies. So the first challenge is um, the managerial understanding of what those technologies can really do. Uh, it's difficult because right now on the market there is a lot of information and some of it is a bit misleading. So this, this is a challenge. And the best way to approach this is to start with a simple and a small, sm a small project uh, that will enable you to gather understanding of the capabilities of those uh, new technologies and at the end and you also have a quick gain in this way and you also build appetite for further investments the second thing is um, as a challenge is in order to really benefit from those new technologies that are mainly focused on digitalization and getting data out of the manufacturing process is to be really able to understand in detail what's happening with your manufacturing um, if you don't have this notion then those technologies won't be very useful for you and last thing and a big challenge is uh, finding the proper talent so this is something new and there are very few people that are really um, knowledgeable in what's happening and how those new machines should be run and this is an, a long-term project long-term process you have to build up the capacity by starting with the when one small project and then attracting the, the right people that find your company interesting so um, this was all for me thank you for watching if you want to learn more about our company or follow our blog uh, you can find information on our website which is uh, civico.com in our blog we quite often write about new projects that some of them are quite interesting even for other uh, companies and i uh, wish you good luck with your industry 4.0 experience in the future bye